Hello, welcome to this short tutorial on how to create hair using geometry. Now, here's the trick. This has quite a few polygons on it, and we're going to be cloning this over our head object quite a few times, so we want this to be as few polygons as it can be. So we're actually going to eliminate half of them. So I'm going to go into polygons mode, and I'm going to select half of the polygons here including the bottom, the one on the bottom which we don't need and control X to delete them. That's already helping a little bit. Uh, I'm going to turn that up higher. I'm just going to go right ahead and try 10. We'll recalculate that. Okay, that's feeling a lot better. Those are actually feeling a little bit like hair, uh, clumps of hair as they fall down. Brush, I'd like to get a little bit larger. I just want to create some fairly straight strands. A little bit of randomness is nice. They don't have, definitely don't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, the less perfect they are and the more natural they are, probably the better. And this is why we paint textures instead of always using procedural textures, because there's something natural and organic that comes out of the human arm and hand and mind. And let's take another look through the VPR. Uh, one of the really nice things about this method is that it renders super fast. So I can put, uh, for example, a gradient backdrop in my render globals. I can turn on global illumination, Monte Carlo, and it, it renders extremely quickly. Uh, obviously, this technique isn't going to work for getting in really, really close. But as you can see, for distance, and especially for cartoonish kind of objects, it can work really well. And on top of that, you can actually use this for some dynamics.